This afternoon at the Greater Fairbanks Chamber of Commerce Luncheon, Deborah Schilt of Pixic presented why a 10-year extension for the Alaska Film Incentive would be good for the state. An extension would boost confidence to producers who would hire Alaskans and to Alaska businesses that want to make capital investments in infrastructure. As an example, the new movie Big Miracle had an impact on the Alaskan economy. Spending during filming included 80 different businesses and organizations in the state, totaling more than $7.7 .7 million. There were over 1,300 Alaskans hired to work on the movie. Schilt says extending the incentive is important and that it needs to be extended 10 years at the least. The importance of 10 years is that it gives producers and Alaskan business investors and Alaskan potential workforce that security of knowing there's going to be a film industry around in Alaska for another 10 years. Producers frequently take one to 10 years to develop a project from concept to getting it up on the silver screen. Without a guarantee that there will be incentives here in place for them, they will take their project elsewhere. So it gives them confidence and security and stability. An extension of the Alaska Film Incentive is also important to those enrolled in the newly created Film Studies program at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. Director of that program, Maya Salganic, says the extension could play a crucial role in whether or not students can build lasting careers in the state. Having a film tax incentive in the state of Alaska will mean our students will have a long career in the state of Alaska. And so it's not going to directly affect any um, one piece of what we're already doing at the university level, but what, what will the future be? Will we be able to bring new students into our program and have them work in the state over the summer, or are they going to have to leave? Those are all really critical pieces for um, having a career pathway in the state.